Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today we are on uh, the SS, uh, whatever the name of the ship is, it's kind of a harder to pronounce. Uh, but, uh, let's get started, let's see what's going on. So we're in the inn, I don't really need to be doing that. So let's go kind of see what's up. I think we're supposed to be heading into these rooms over here. Pretty sure there's a magic show in one of them. Yeah, this is the magic show. And, <laughs> and there's salt and pepper. I am Linky Link and I am stout. Shake it and enjoy our show. So, um, this isn't the magic show. These two are just a bunch of idiots. But, I think once we come back at a certain point, there will be a magic show. So we'll just have to trigger some other event. Until then, let's see what's in this room. What is this? Uh, only no autographs. Okay. Let's see what is in this room. Okay, so these are a bunch of workers. I want to go home. Do you know what's happening in Marble? I'm just going to make her feel good. It's not. If you watched last episode, the place is basically a ruin. Good. I wish... Uh, do you know how the ship got its name? No, tell me. I kind of know, but... There once was a beautiful love that flourished in Marble. A love between a human and a mermaid. The mermaid's name was Zelbaz. That's the name of the ship. Irene's sister and the human was... I'm sure you'll find it hard to believe, but it was Fargo. Yep, he used to be such a nice man. What made him change? Appreciate there's just more workers, right? Um, so at least they get fed. Yeah, <laughs> at least they get fed. What are you saying? Through the store is the Grand Slam where only the Chosen One can participate. I can't let you through without the captain's permission. All right, everybody. So I think I missed a step. I'm gonna real quickly go back to Mar Marble. Okay, guys. So apparently I'm supposed to talk to that guy, but then we're supposed to sleep in here. Okay, so he's saying that he's talking about a rumor right there. I think that's what we were supposed to right here. So I heard a rumor that you can hear a woman crying at night. So I think that's what we were supposed to trigger. And then I think we should be able to go in here. And yes, that's what we were supposed to do. We were supposed to uh, check it out. So there's something outside. So we were supposed to talk to him. I missed that last episode. And then there should be a mermaid by the bridge. And she jumped in. Oh, where are you going? What are you doing up at this hour? A mermaid? A homecoming, maybe? Oh, you say she was crying. A mermaid returns in the middle of the night crying. Actually, it could possibly be the mermaid who lost her singing voice. Mermaids are known to have a beautiful voice and sing about love and happiness. But mermaids are forbidden to sing songs about holding grudge against humans. If a mermaid breaks the taboo, she will lose her singing voice. I don't blame her, though, for all that has been happening in this day and age. Uh, you're heading to the Zelda's tomorrow, right? You should get some sleep. Oh, and don't forget to give your regards to Captain Fargo when you get there. He can be devious, so keep an eye on him. So yeah, we forgot to trigger this event last episode, but I mean, whatever, we're doing it now. And then we slowly walk back. Oh, real quick, I should check. Am I su Oh, Fargo. That See, that was that one lady. Let me make sure there wasn't... A th does she end up talking to us? Oh, excuse me. Okay, so she did. Okay, she does come back. Will you be boarding the Zelbez. Take me with you. Let us go. Okay, so I guess she just invited herself. Cool. Na, 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 na. Is she like in our party now or something? I'm pretty sure we're supposed to talk to Fargo now. Now this is the point where we're supposed to talk to Fargo. Yep. There we go. It's been quite some time, Irene. You've grown up. Fargo, you have not changed at all. You are still here drowning in memories of the past. What do you know? I lost everything when I lost Zelbez. That is untrue. My sister left hope. A treasure that may one bring humans and demi-humans together. You mean Nikki and his sister, Marcy. Marcy is one of the four divas. The child died with Zelbez when... You do not know anything, do you? Or do you, or you refuse to know. You only remember the past, which is unfavorable. Luca tried to save my sister... She was only able to save the baby, Marcy. 
Uh, felt responsible and supported Mars and did this throughout her life. Look at you now. Where is the old you who had the passion and desire to build a new world with my sister? I told you the old me is dead. Now what do you want? I need to. I don't need to be lectured by you. Understood. Let me get to the point. If you have taken away the song of the demi humans, in other words, would like to. We would like you to free the sage. I see, but why? You know that song too, don't you? Do not. F do not feign ignorance, Fargo. You should know better. Only when the song is sung by the one with special power can the effects be brought into full play. Uh, my sister Zelda is dead, and you have taken away the sage. Marble no longer has its true power without that song. Marble is now a nesting ground for evil spirits. Interesting, but so what? I don't want outsiders in marble. That suits me just fine. How much longer are you going to be stubborn? The marble you once knew is no longer there. You will only find a nightmare. Open your eyes to reality. I'm not releasing the sage no matter what you say. Fine, I will not beseech you, but I will not give up on the restoration of Marble. I will continue to strive to make my sister's dream come true. Now, if I were just like standing in the middle of the room while they're doing this, like just with no mind. Yes, this is where it's supposed to be. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Snuff's Fantastic Magic Show. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to volunteer for this next trick? How about you, young lady? Oh, me? Well, it does seem like fun, but you're not going to slice me in two or stick knives at me, are you? Nothing to worry about, young lady. You're in good hands with Snuff. Now please step up to the stage. Now, what is your name? Jill. Well, let's start off with something simple. Jill, you're going to walk on air. You're feeling lighter? Jill, very, very light. One. Two. Three. <laughs> three, but it's free. And now for the main event, Jill, you will not become a chair. You will be able to withstand any weight. One, two, three. And she's a chair. See, no strings. That's kind of it's borderline abuse. She's even able to support a fat soul like him. Yes, yeah, so just sit on her, why don't you? Okay, then let's talk. It's about time we bring Jill back. Two. Three. <laughs> so, how was it, Jill? Um, I felt like I had no control over my body, but it didn't hurt one bit. It was very strange. Thank you very much for your assistance. You're a phony, and you and her are probably had all this planned out. You don't believe in magic. Looks like I have to... Look like I have something to prove to you. Step up to the stage. Oh, boy. Let's see what this guy's gonna do. Yeah, go ahead. Do what you want. I know there's a trick. You're a real live wire. What's your name? It's Jack. It's Jack and Jill. Ha ha ha. Well then, Jack, seeing how restless and irritated you are, here's one of my favorite tricks. I'll turn you into a cat. I call it cat on a hot something. Two. Three. And he's a cat. So what do you think? Don't be afraid. I'll change you back to normal. One. Two. Three. Bam. Normal person. Do you believe me now, Jack? Thank you very much for your assistance. I hope everyone enjoyed the show. That's about it for today. Until next time. Let's talk to him. Hmm, that was freaky. Yeah, so let's go to the stage. It's in the one next to it, all the way over here. Yeah. He's gonna be in here. Excuse me, but I need to get to work. Please let me through. Ask about the Marble Sage. We're looking for the Marble Sage. Do you know anything? Hmm, I don't believe he's here. Try elsewhere now, please. I have to get to work. Well, secretly, that is the Marble Sage. That is him. I have to mop the floors. Let me through. Alright, go. Don't slack off. Real question is, why is there still pirates if it's a cruise ship? The old man used to be the leader of Marble. But now he's down on the dumps, mopping the floors of the Zelbes. Through the door is the Grand Slam, blah blah blah. Okay, so I need to get the captain's permission to go in there because the sage is in there. So, I'm pretty sure now I have to go to Fargo and ask him for the key. And we get that key if we beat him in the gambling thing, right? Let's see. We'd like to get through the to the Grand Slam. Oh, the Grand Slam? You're out for blood. Tell me, where did you folks come from? Marble. What? Marble? What are you doing there, anyway? 
We're looking for is a sage for marble. Well, 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 I'm sorry, but there's no one that's sort of on the Zelbez. Plus, I don't want strangers ruining the fun of my ship. Sorry, I can't grant you act. Okay. Is my controller... Oh, okay. I was talking about controller's dead. But wouldn't that be fun of? The foundation of the Zelbez is entertainment. What do you say to try your luck? Try our luck? That's right. There is a casino down below. If you win, I'll give you access to the Grand Slam. If you lose, how about you give me your boat docked by the entrance? Um, well, I guess we have no other choice. So, yep, we're gonna have to meet him down at the casino. And, uh, yeah. Secretly, we're gonna lose. But, you know, casinos are rigged, right? I don't know that. Oh, Sneff landed on the ass. No, not again. Give it up, old man Sneff. You don't have what it takes. Just keep doing your shows, that's all. Hmm. One of these days, I'm going to slap your dirty face with a wad of cash and get the hell off the ship. Oh, well, well, look who's here. The old man has built up quite a debt from this casino, so now I own him. I suggest you don't let the same, th same thing happen to you. Excuse me, everyone. May I have your attention, please? I need to have a private game with these folks. Would you mind leaving us alone for a while? I'll clear my... He'll clear any debts. Are you serious? Yes. Did I, did I stutter? All right. Captain is G-O-O-D. Better watch it. I don't see how you can be good at a spinning game. It takes no skill. You just kind of press the button randomly, but K. Okay. Okay then, let's begin. Uh, yes, sudden death. The rules are simple. Press the X after the dealer. Pointer will stop on north, east, south, or west. Should the pointer stop on south, where it lands now, you lose. Simple game, isn't it? Just don't make the pointer stop on south. It's a game of luck rather than skill. Then I'll go first. So it's basically like uh, Russian roulette. Whoever gets S first. Hehe, <laughs> you're up. Well, it's not gonna hit south right away. Alright, it's not gonna hit south right away, but. Eventually, we're gonna hit south. He's never gonna hit south. That's not how the game works. Yep, there is south. Aha, you've got ways to go before you can beat me. No, it's rigged, my dude. Well then, it looks like you owe me your boat. Don't hold a grudge. I won that game for a square. I guess that means you'll have to swim back. Okay, uh, where do we go now? Do we... Okay, maybe we're supposed to go to the inn. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't realize I had a customer. Please do excuse me. He <laughs> he. What can I do for you? Hey, don't go up there. So let's see. Right above this in is the casino where we played Fargo. Something is fishy. If only we could make move around freely like that cat. Well, to move around freely like that cat, we would need to be a cat. And uh, surprisingly enough, that one dude turned somebody into a cat. And he's still not here. Where is this guy, man? Can I go in here yet? No. Oh, maybe we can make him turn us into a cat. Let's see if he's going to come out again. Is it Snuff? Yeah, Snuff is out. Maybe we'll make him turn us into cats. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, blah, blah, blah. Welcome to the Snuff show. How about we start off with a cat on a hot tin roof? Uh, yes, so, you folks must be new around here. Would you like to volunteer? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Are you ready? Yes, let us be turned into cats. Bam. Now we're all kitty cats. Oh, but, uh, hey, peace out. Lol, XD. Alright, let's go to the inn. And see what's up there, you know what I mean? See what's good. Bum, 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 ba, na, 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 na. See ya. Let's see what's going on up here. Hey, guess what? It's a magnet machine. And 
look at that. He's controlling the game. No, why me? This, this happens to me every time I start winning big. Haha, too bad, old man. You have to learn. I wanted to buy some cat food for those folks. Cat food? For whom? None of your beeswax. Ouch, my back. Dude, don't scare me like that. So yeah, it is rigged. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the handle. Uh, yeah, I think that's all we need for now. I just, I think we just needed the handle so he couldn't use the compass and yeah, get turned out of cat mode. Challenge him. Okay, so now why is that threesome looking for a sage? I don't like the fact that they arrived here in a poor boat either. Who are they? Hello there, kitty. Sure, she sure loved cats. Zelbez. Walk, walk, walk. Bam. Open a big dresser. You would look into the mirror and say, How I pity you, mirror, for the man does not see you as the mirror that you are. Did I see you as who you were back then? Is that my true blah blah blah? What would you think of me if you saw me today aboard the ship cheating people out of money? Oh. Okay. So he admitted it. I wish I had a camera. Too bad I don't. He's back. No! Wait a minute. Oh, there's a there's a hole. What? Okay, there we go. Oh, controller. Oh, you had me worried sick. I had to lie down a bit because I strained my back running. Finally, I'm able to stand up. I'm not 100% better be yet, but I think I can change it back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to blah blah blah. So, yeah, <laughs> he's got to do is like show. One, two, three, and boom. We're normal again. Phew. Uh, better stop using that magic. Listen, I'm very sorry we had to put. If there's anything I can do to make it up, I would like to help, but due to unforeseen circumstances, I am forced to stay on the ship. Please do come by again if you're ever around. The least I could do is offer you a cup of tea. Yes. Um, yeah. So, he is a person that can join our team. Can I? Hello? Cool. Challenge Fargo another time, if I'm correct. I think we have to go challenge him again. Oh, and there's Nikki. I can't allow you to go to the Grand Slam, but why? I really need to talk to the sage about teaching me the song or else that beautiful island marble will be gone forever. I can't just stand there and do nothing. You don't understand the true beauty is found with a dying entity. Therefore, I will watch over Marble when it comes time. Furthermore, you and I have a contract for the time being. You're in my possession. What am I supposed to do? Should anything happen to you, that would be a great financial loss for me. So you're saying I'm nothing but a mere object. That is what you think? So be it. Ugh. The dressing table. It looks exactly like my mother's. Yeah, there's even that scratch in me when I was a child. Wait a minute. Could it be that you are my father? He just figured this out? He's been working for him and he just figured out? The gentle and caring father I used to know. You're my father, aren't you? But why are you participating in such dubious acts? I am no longer the father you once knew. I lost everything when your mother's elbows passed away, including myself. Laugh at me all you want. Pity me if you wish, but remember this, Nikki. Man is not as strong as you think. Father. It's kind of funny. Honestly, circumstances are just terrible. You tell me he's never seen that dresser ever in his life. Come on now. Do, 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 do. Yep, let's do it. So, let's go ahead and challenge him because now he can't cheat. Do, 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 do. He can't cheat. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. So hopefully this time we'll win, and we'll get access to the Grand Slam. Okay. Is he just going to hit south right away? And he hits south right away. What? Impossible. Interesting little item you got there. So I guess you found me out. I lose. <laughs> as promised, I'll give you the access to the Grand Slam, of course. You'll get your boat back as well. Yay. 
But how did you get a hold of that handle? You know, I became a cat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's head to the Grand Slam. Is it bottom or top? It is bottom. Okay. So let's go over to the Grand Slam. And the Sage should be there. So we'll be able to talk to him and see what's good. Banana, banana. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go up in there. And I'm pretty sure there's like a little game down here. Yeah, let's see. Where is the Sage? Um, he's not out here, is he? I thought he was out here. Yep, there he is. No, come back. I think he's going to keep traveling through these doors. Come back. I'm going to have to, like, catch him. No, come back. He's going to, like, turn around. He's, he's going to be like, why are you following me? I think... Should we... Yes, there we go. We blocked him. <laughs> yes, what is it? Why are you following me? As you can see, I'm quite busy. I do not have time. Where is the Dead Sea? The Dead Sea. Why do you wish to enter the Dead Sea? Do you realize humans have stolen our land along with our legend and treasure? Humans will do nothing but for profit, no matter what the cost. The demi humans aboard this ship are living proof. We have lost all sense of pride with no dreams for tomorrow. We just cling to the mercy of humans every day. Why must we demi humans lend... What will you do if I refuse? Will you go as far as to use brute force? Let's talk it over. So you wish to avoid conflict. You also need to encourage to defeat others to get through life. Do not forget. Okay, fine. Okay, so maybe we do have to fight him. I guess. Of course. I see. Then prepare yourselves. Alright, looks like we're going to be fighting the sage <laughs> with his broom. He shouldn't be too hard to beat, honestly. I mean, he's like a wise old man, but he's not exactly a, like, not like a strong person. Well, how much does he hit for? Oh, he hits pretty hard. Maybe I should have saved. What is he, he's white? Okay, then Glide Hook should do a bit of damage. Boom. Ooh. And Harl is black too, actually, so she should do. Good bit of damage. Yeah. And then Moonshine. Oh, this will... Oh, wait. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. I guess it's not a terrible thing to have. Turn black. So he turned... Okay, well, Lynx is already black. So that doesn't really do much, now does it? Boom. Right in the face. Only 91. I mean, we've actually never attacked with Morris before. But I definitely think he has some of the cooler animations for attacking. Sun Shower. So, he makes a rain of bullets. That's pretty interesting. And then bop, bop, bop. Those bullets are pretty big. <laughs> it would have been a cooler animation if... Um... Okay, I'm pretty sure he's already yellow. So he turned them yellow, but he was already yellow. Okay, let's see. Can we... Man, this guy is good evade, though. Nope, not heal all. Actually, you know what? Healing all would probably be smart at this point. I don't want him to do some crazy stuff and accidentally take us all out. So, I, you know, that's probably a good idea. Try to get a few shots in. Maybe it's Morris. It's fine. Try to get that... Three in, good hit. And then what's moonbeams? Let's try this one. This one should do a bit of damage. Bam. About 150. Okay. That's about how much I expected. Let's see if we can hit that three. Oh, we did hit that three. Turn black. So he's gonna turn Harl black, who is already black, and use photon beam against her. That's fine. That's not gonna kill her or anything. Probably about 100 damage. Yep. Let's see. What's his other special ability? Let's see. Spiral Ray. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like a headshot. Okay. He is low. A few more hits and he should be gone. And we still haven't used Feral Cats. So this should do a great amount of damage. 
A lot of kitty cats flying at him. Back and forth, back and forth. 200. Oh, and there he goes. Alright, that wasn't too hard of a fight. But we did get lucky, and we have two black characters, and he was white, so... It kind of helped a little bit. And we got our Mithril Helmet. It's actually pretty useful. I'm pretty sure one of our players can equip it. Hmm, I sense that you are quite serious about entering the Dead Sea. Could it be that you are carrying the burden of fate for the human race? Uh, let me give you this. I'm sure you'll probably be able to put it to good use. Just remember, opening a new gate also brings forth a new fortune. Do not forget. Fiddler Crab. There's an area near the Dead Sea where the tides are different. Use that item there. Nature will take over from there. Cool. Finally. I knew I'd find you here. You know you know the legendary Song of Marble, right? I want you to teach me the song, please. Why do humans have to be so selfish? Our song only has a place in the hearts of demi-humans. Why should I teach you the song? Irene's asked me. I see that she has not given up. But it's not only because she asked me to. I personally have a great interest in that song. A beautiful song originated from a beautiful island. I'm not 100% sure I'll be able to pull it off, but if it means I can save someone through my song. There was once a man just like you. Who? Fargo. My father. Ah, so you're a son. I guess history does repeat itself. I had high hopes for that man. I hopes that he would be the one that... He would be the one day to tear down the wall between demi humans and humans, but look at us now, the walls seem even higher. Please, don't speak badly about my father. No one understands the pain and suffering he's going through. Even though he has built up this lively place, he screams in sorrow alone within his dark, deep self. But I can hear him. His screams of despair, which no one else can hear, or he wants to hear. So you can hear him too. I beg of you, please. I bet if my father hears that song. I'm sorry, but I have other ears of the ship to mop. But while I hum, then you'll... There you go. I saw the way you fought back there. I've been looking for tough guys like you. It would be honor if we could talk inside the ship. Alright, let us go. Real quickly, check out the Grand Slam. That's that's something we have to check out. Oh, we talked to this guy. The ultimate event of that is Grand Slam. Master all over the world, battle out. Sure, let's participate. All right, let's fight this girl. Our slogan, fight with might and believe the hype. It's time to get it on. All right, we have a new challenge. Let's see what the consistent can do. Woohoo, don't take me too lightly. Okay, so... Yeah, we have these to choose from. So, the first one should be the weaker enemies. So, let's obviously use the weaker monsters that we have. Oh god, we're gonna die. Oh no, that's not good. Let's take out the Torminator first, I guess. Oh, I missed. Oh, that's not good. He's gonna trample me, my dude. That's gonna insta kill. Yeah, it literally just insta kill. I don't. I think we need some stronger monsters, honestly. Alright guys, apparently we have to go to the top of the deck. So let's see if that's where we have to go. There's another kitty. Hello. Hi kitty. And apparently we did miss an item. Uh, while we were cats, we were supposed to talk to a cat and get an item called the Monster Mouth. But, oh well, a little too late. So apparently we're supposed to go up here? Nikki has told me all about you guys, hop on. So yeah, now we're able to get on here. Which is good. Zoom. I don't exactly know where this is going to take us. I think it takes us to his ship. Yeah. Cool. Now, what do we do? Oh, there he is. Rocket, I knew you'd come. Well, now that we're all here, here's my idea. How would you all like to save an island with a song? Haha, I think before you speak, Nikki, you've got to be out of your mind. No, I'm serious. According to Irene's, the island of Marbul is infested with monsters. The only weakness is a demi-human song that the sage knows. While we perform our gig near the island, these people will exterminate all the monsters. That's the plan. Of course, you'll help. Of course. Why not? Rocket, I knew you'd help. I shall get all the damn humans on the ship to play... It will be difficult for humans to place the proper notes for a song, but don't we have to bring the ship over to Marble? Our ship's chained to the Zelbez, you know. Plus, we have a contract with the Fargo guy. We can't just leave. 
Yes and no, I don't intend to go with our Shablon. Wouldn't want to disappoint our fans with his Albaz. The only hurdle left to clear is now how's we, how is going to how are we going to convince Fargo? I'll leave that up to you, Irene's. We have to concentrate on setting up the gig. Hey, you know, this is starting to sound interesting and almost like a test to see how far we can take our show. So you're with me then, Mickey. Great. Let's get ready for rehearsal, everyone. Thank you for your support. Hehe. <laughs> yep. Do -do -do -do. All right, let's see what we can do. Excuse me. We seem to have involved you in a quite a task. If there's anything all I can do, I will happy to join you. Yes, let us let the mermaid lady join our party. Bum, 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 bum. And Irene's Irene, whatever, is actually one of the characters that I do like. She has. A lot of magic power, and her innate is blue. We're not going to switch her in yet, but I am very tempted to have her in the group. Very much so. Real quickly, before we continue, let's check up here. See what's going, going on. Okay, there seems to be nothing here. Can we grab anything? Any items? No, it doesn't look like it. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's head back to the ship, and I don't know if we're going to be able to do the song now. So, real quickly guys, before we head to the marble, we can add Sneff to our party. So, you'll see him here. He ends up winning big. What's up with the old man Sneff today? Ever since the captain lost, Sneff's been on a winning streak. That's why I can't stop gambling. Lady Luck is with me today. Now I can pay off my debt to the dirty captain. Oh, it's you. Luck has finally come my way. I'm going to pay off my debt and get off the ship. Cool. So now he'll be able to get off the ship. And I'm pretty sure if we go to his show or his room. I forgot which one. Roster. Let's go. Is he in here? Yes. Hey, Pops. I heard you paid off your debt to Fargo. You're not pulling my leg, are you? Why would I lie about something like this? There's no reason for me to stay here now. I'm getting off out of here. It's kind of sad. It was three years ago when you shook us in after you found us wandering around with amnesia. We are, gra we are greatly grateful to you. We still have our ways to go with our stand-up comedy, but one day we will truly make you laugh. If I run into your comrades, I'll be sure to tell them that you're doing well. Good luck to you guys, and go on a diet already. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sniff. Come on, you guys. Enough, enough moping around. Yeah. Feels bad. Feels bad. Um. Not until you're, you're able to handle four swords and not until someone laughs at your jokes. I can't just leave behind my family behind. Pops. But I just want you to know I may be traveling with these people whenever they call upon me. Well, then who's up next? Um. And you two should be practicing instead of crying. All right, uh, well, what are you going to do? Yeah, let's have him join the party. So, once again, we're not going to use him because I don't like his character design and he's not that strong. But, might as well add him to the list. All right, guys, so we're not able to continue with that storyline yet because we do have to wait until later in the story uh, when Fargo joins our team and then we have to, like, confront Fargo with Fargo, you know what I mean? Uh, so today, this is going to be it. Next episode, we will enter the Dead Sea or see what's going on with it. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as opposed to my channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.